Hey, what's up everyone? Voxhounder N313 here. And once again, Nintendo is at it with DLC. Once again, mishandling it and misusing it. So it was announced that the new Fire Emblem game coming out on the 3DS this month will have a season pass. And the season pass will cost more than the actual game. And the real clincher here is that most of the DLC is coming out within a week of the launch of the game. As a matter of fact, one of the DLC packs is coming out on launch day. So it would seem to me that they could have included this DLC in the base package. Now one of the DLC packs, the fifth one, doesn't have a release date yet. So I don't know when that one's coming. But again, the, the first four uh, are coming out within a week of the launch of the game. Now you can buy these packs individually, but it'll cost you $7 more overall if you buy all of these packages separately compared to just buying the, the $45 season pass. Now once again, I bring up this DLC situation for consistency. I am not planning to pick up this Fire Emblem game because I don't have a 3DS and I'm not going to go out and buy another one uh, just to play this game or you know any other 3DS games that are possibly coming out I'm more interested in what the Switch you know has coming for it or has coming to it and I foresee that being Nintendo's only real platform going forward but one of the earliest videos I did on this channel was calling out EA uh, with their handling of Star Wars Battlefront and the whole season pass thing they did there essentially stripping content out of the main game and selling it afterwards and that's what I see here. And I also talked about that with Zelda, how they stripped the hard mode out of the game and sold that as DLC, which is absolutely what I believe, that's what I believe happened. I believe they left the hard mode out intentionally because the game had a long development cycle so they could have worked it in there. I think they left it out intentionally so that they could sell it as DLC later. And if by some reason they didn't have enough time to develop it, it should have just been a free update for the game because if you go back to Mario Kart 8 the original version 200 CC which was a harder difficulty was added as a free update and this Zelda hard mode from what we know only really strengthens the enemies and that's all it really does it's just kind of your standard hard mode there's really no extra bells or whistles that go with it Nintendo is really getting carried away here with the DLC thing and it's really unfortunate to see because with Mario Kart 8, the, again the original version on Wii U, I felt that was some of the best DLC on the market. You know, and that's, you know, comparing to all game consoles, all digital services, whatever, that was some of the best DLC I'd ever seen and it was handled in a really good way. With Mario Kart 8, you knew you were getting as much content as you were with previous Mario Kart games and the DLC was some extra stuff and it was for the most part reasonably priced and I hope that that would be their model going forward but it seems that they're getting into EA and Activision territory with Zelda and now with Fire Emblem. Now the Zelda DLC is considerably cheaper the season pass or whatever you want to call it the problem with that is that, again, you have to pay for a hard mode, which should have been a part of the main game, and you have to buy the Season Pass. So if you're not interested in the first DLC pack, it doesn't matter. You have to buy it anyway if you want to get access to the second DLC pack, which I think is the one most people are going to be the most interested in. And that second DLC pack is just fine. Adding extra content, a new story mode, a new dungeon, that sort of thing, that's fine. Assuming it wasn't stripped out of the main game, and it's coming like, you know, later this year, so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that that wasn't ready when they released the original game. You know, that's fine. That, that's, that's the, that kind of DLC I'm okay with. I'm not opposed to the idea of DLC. I'm not opposed to the concept of DLC. But it needs to be handled in a reasonable way. And they're not, it's not being handled in a reasonable way with Fire Emblem and with Zelda. And I think I said this when I did my video on Zelda Breath of the Wild not having a hard mode or when I talked about the season pass for the, uh, the first time. I said that a bad idea doesn't all of a sudden become a good idea because Nintendo was doing it. It's not the way it works. 
screwing over your consumers is screwing over your consumers whether you're a Nintendo, EA, or Activision. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. I think too many gamers in the fandom and, and too many media types have just let this slide or they're letting this slide and they're giving up on this whole battle because they just believe this whole thing is an inevitability that you know DLC is part of the industry and it doesn't matter how it's implemented or how they price it or how it's released or anything like that they just accept it and go on yeah, I'm not one of those people I'm not one for getting screwed over and having a big smile on my face about it and I'll make this very clear I hope this game fails I hope this game fails and I hope that the DLC especially the DLC fails but I hope I hope the game fails as well because it would send us hopefully send a message to Nintendo that this isn't acceptable you can do DLC but it needs to be done reasonably charging more for the DLC than the actual game is worth is not acceptable stripping out content from the main game and then selling it afterwards is not acceptable I sincerely hope they get their act together on this stuff because this isn't a this isn't a good road for them to travel down if they keep up with this kind of stuff you start you have to start to ask yourself why are you a fan of this company uh, for me I like their hardware I like what they're doing with the switch and, and what they made with the switch and how it's designed I like their games but at the end of the day their games are uh, games that are a part of genres and if I want to play an action-adventure game in the vein of Zelda there's other games to play if I want to play a platformer there are other platformers in the genre to play I'm not going to lose a whole lot of sleep over not playing the next big Nintendo game if they're going to try and screw me over with DLC there are major third parties that don't even go this far with it so I don't know it's it's very troublesome but anyway as always uh, links in the description for the information on this DLC uh, so you guys can look this stuff up for yourselves uh, hit that like button subscribe to us if you haven't already and stay tuned for more gaming news and discussions here on dorks like us this is Fox Sounder signing off God bless